Hey, hey, so you've got the Time Manager Day Night Cycle system and Dynamic Sky system of us, and you want to migrate it into MST Pro. I will show you how. So, the first thing what you're going to do is press Ctrl P, search for Day Night or Sun Moon, and drag and drop it in. And you can already see that the ball scene is changing. The other thing is let's search for the Time Manager, specifically the BP Time Manager, and drag it in. Nice. And you can see the time is changing. And if you have existing directional light, things like that, just remove it. Boom. Also, no post-process post volume is needed. The second thing is we are going to open our game state class. We're going to add our time manager, game state time manager advanced, and our day night cycle manager advanced. And now we want to add weather. So let's drag and drop a global biome in the world. And this one is used when you are not in a specific biome. And let's make sure to set some default transitions. Um, let's search for our forest transitions. As you can see, we have multiple presets of all kinds of transitions like forest, desert, things like that. And then we click on update data table, use data table transitions, refresh data. And now it will have set all kinds of uh, default transitions based on the data table. And I think I want to set this one to a forest. And if you want to have a specific biome uh, uh, with a spline, then you can drag and drop in a section biome like this one. And for any section biome, the same uh, rules apply. So if you want to have a reset of transitions, just enable them and it will be set like this in this specific biome then we need to make sure that also the player uh, is showing weather effects and on the player controller we can sh uh, enable the actor components play controller weather manager and that compile and now when you press play everything works so now it's raining uh, you can see in the attribute manager that we are wet currently we have time the sun is moving beautifully. Uh, we have the wind effects, nice. And our farmables are listening to uh, the season. So this one is out of season. Um, it's getting the water, nice. We're getting uh, temperature penalties uh, and things like that. We get all kind of, ooh, nice. the, the kinds of environment updates of the temperature. And in the upper right corner, we can also see changing and moving around. Beautiful. As you also can see, the fog transitions are really nice. Uh, the foliage is moving based on the wind multiplier, based on what kind of weather it is. Um, also the grass, everything, everything is connected. And that's it. Now uh, on to some final quick tips. This time manager and day night cycle manager right here, these are right here in the world so you can change values in real time. Um, so here, this time manager, here we can set, okay, what is the current time? And just move it around like this. So you can preview it directly in the editor, which is perfect. Uh, we could say, okay, what's the duration for the day? What's the night duration? Um, and which is perfect. Don't look at accurate time, by the way. That's experimental and I uh, don't think that's needed for most games. Um, they also have the current year, month, day, things like that. And here the day, night, sun, moon. This one has cube maps, options of, uh, of the intensity of the sky, also the intensity of the uh, sun and the moon. And something very cool, you can switch out sky materials. And I included a couple of very cool ones. And if you want to change any specific setting, uh, like uh, directional light settings, you can click on these or write it here or in the parent. Uh, and here also the post-process effects are enabled and you can adapt them to your own liking. Now for puddles and snow effects and dust accumulation for sandstorms, we have all kinds of functions available. So if you open up our auto landscape material that's included, uh, check this section, optionally use a connected weather system. Here we have some material parameter collections, some if, uh, functions for snow, dust, and landscape puddles. If you want it in your own landscape, you can just copy paste this. 
And I made this aesthetic switch parameter to enable and disable any use of a connected weather system. Now, if you want to uh, adapt uh, or add any of the wind to your own uh, meshes, we have created this specific function, connect that to a world precision offset for the tree wind. And we have one for the foliage wind. Uh, this one is more for grass and things like that. The foliage wind can be found in the resource pack environments, material functions, foliage wind, and we also have an instance of it. And other functions like the tree wind or the snow dust accumulation or rain ripples and things like that are all in environments, material functions, weather system. That's this one. And now the real powerful thing for the weather system, if you want to change any of the weather, uh, fishables or intensity, things like that, navigate to the core weather manager data model data attributes. Here we have all kinds of data assets. Uh, for instance, someone said oh, the sandstorm, I think it's uh, it's still too bright and I want the fog to be more intense. So what I did is I simply adjust this, uh, adjusted this light intensity multiplier, adjusted the light color a bit and made sure to have a bit more dust accumulation and also have more fog coverage. And if you want to adapt and change any weather effect, you can simply switch it out here and that's it. So boom, that's how you have a fully connected weather system, day-night cycle system, time manager, everything into a project like this. I hope you enjoy and I hope you have a great day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, find Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.